and I tell you what, that is sick. Hi right, guys, how you doing? My name is Sai, this is Task Force Vlogs. We have just unboxed an awesome Viking battle axe. That should already be on the channel now if you want to see it. I'll give you a quick uh, see now. This is from Etsy, it's a handcrafted. Ragnar Lothbrook um, Viking Battle Axe, which is cool, but that's not what you're here for. The title blatantly says a Mongolian horse bow, which is awesome. So I'm yet to unbox it. We're going to unbox it now, have a look at it, and uh, yeah, we'll do that. So this is it. It's absolutely massive. I did not expect it to be that big. So obviously, Genghis Khan times, 13th century, amazing weapon. So when we get it together, we'll take it outside and do a few shots. But, yeah, let's get it unboxed, man. All right, so this is crazy, man. Let's get all this tape off it. Without damaging the insides. All right, we're gonna have to string it up. Wow, though. Look at that attention to detail on there. Okay, so this looks pretty cool. What we got was the 35 pound one in, um, in poundage there on the string. So it obviously looks awesome. I've never done this sort of archery before. I was uh, at a club for a year and I did Olympic recurve. So uh, very different, I had sights on mine. Uh, we had like finger protection, you know, we'd fire it under there. This is seriously very different. I've been watching up quite a lot of stuff on it and I've got myself one of these. So this goes over your thumb and then I've got something that goes on your hand as well uh, because there's no sights, no aim assist, nothing on here that's going to help you. This is just pure um, skill. So, you know, when we get it set up, we'll have a look. But uh, the Mong Mongols horseback uh, riders used to fire these. Um, on the other side of the hand as well, or that side, they're ambidextrous. Because if you did it on that side, it was a lot more stable. You know, you go up in a long firing arrows. It's going to be pretty mad. So let's get this thing stringed up, man. All right. So to string it, I'm just going to put that down there like that. Put that through the other end. Okie doke. It's a pain in the butt. My bowstring is a piece of crap. Uh, we are on. We are strung up. Ooh. Okay. That doesn't sound healthy, does it? We are good to go. Maybe it's just adjusting. So you say traditional 13th century uh, Mongolian horse bow, we're actually set up now. Like I said, you can fire left or right or whatever like that. So we've actually got an archery glove here to put on. And like I said, we've got one of these things now. So this goes over your thumb and this fires it like I've never fired before. So for compound bow, you'd use that. It goes around the wrist and you've got a release aid, the trigger, which lets go of the string for you and then for my olympic recurve bow we used this and that looks a bit crazy but basically it just goes around your hand like that and then when you're firing it goes around there you've got a gap for your um your arrow and then this bit here is like a rest so you pull back and put it under your chin when you'd line up I know when my arrow was in position because it would line up down my nose and a certain point on my lip like that, and I would know when to fire. This, this is all new to me. We're just gonna go outside and let loose a few. So the idea between this thumb thing is, so I've never, okay, do this. And you fire like that, which is insane to me because I've never fired like that before. So either way, we're gonna learn how to use this thing and it's gonna be good. If anyone's got any experience or knows any pointers or tips or anything like this, total new but this. So put in the comments below um, a little bit of help. Right, let's go for a test. 
Right, this is Dave, and poor Dave just got the thrown axe treatment in the last video. So we're gonna spin it around to the night. This is Jeremy, and Jeremy's about to get a few arrows, hopefully to the face. Like I said, first time firing it, so let's have a go. Like I said, no experience with this thing, we're just gonna go for it. So we've got the usual cheap carbon fiber arrows, and we've got some better aluminium ones, so the ones I use my recurve bow. But I guess it would make sense to buy some um, some traditional wooden ones. So here we go. Um, this is how I'd usually fire it. So it's total free aim. Um, so you actually hook round with the finger ring there and hold it and then let go of it, which is mental. So in stance, I would uh, side on and go like that. And like I said, I'll bring it up to under my chin. This, people do this. And I tell you what, that is sick. So we hit him in the shield, so it's not a kill shot. Let's take you up. And we'll see if we can get him proper. Let's see if we can kill him. I don't know if all my shots are going to be that accurate. I hope I don't hit the GoPro. Alright, I would say he is uh, pretty dead. So he's gone right through uh, his chest there. So collapsed lung maybe at most. Let's have some more shots. Sick. Let's try an aluminium um, arrow, see where this goes. Yeah, I went a bit left, but I'll tell you what, a bit of getting used to considering it's the first time firing free aim. Uh, so overall, I'll put the link to this bad boy in the description and uh, you can maybe get your own. This is just a cheap one. I would say 60 pounds, uh, 60 quid it was. Um, off eBay, but it works fine. It looks fine. I don't know how long it's gonna last. You've got a leather grip around there You've got some um, nice handmade string around there. Obviously, it's not all entirely wood. I don't think I think under there is like uh, that tough plastic stuff, but um, To be honest, I, I wanted something a little less serious than Olympic bow This is very fun to use so far and I'm enjoying firing it uh, at mate way over here Jeremy, so that's pretty awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. Thoughts and feelings and tips, if you've got any, down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.